Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back to the Days Gone Walk. Let's continue. Let's have a wee chat. I swear to god, if Tucker chimes in with some side missions, I'm going to be annoyed. Because we're about to lock off the north quarters of the map. You know a way over the Tielsen Pass. He told me once that I I'd... told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did. Out of you leave me, listen me. Listen to me. What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole! I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promise me you don't come back. I got you. Damn, it's a bit of a tall order light. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. Let's go talk to the boozer then. Obviously he's gonna come with us. Bring the popperino. Let's go. Where's the duck? Moving on. Meeting with boozer will advance the story. Locking you out of Lost Lake as you ride south with Iron Mike. Make sure you take the time to turn on any last bounties or visit any vendors before you talk to boozer. So again, like, what's annoying about this is I haven't got, I haven't earned enough of the stuff to get the upgrades for the bike. I'm guessing this is the end of the game, right? This has got to be like, fuck, let's just move on. Screw it. Do it. I'm doing it. Holy shit. Uh -huh. huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands. Thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. Will belongs to them now. We'll survive. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road, where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Uh, yeah, but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> we rode out of farewell. Without Sarah, without Jack, or anyone. I knew that we were... Leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you can find her. Okay. Deke, you ready? 
Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. All right, chill sure. out. Mike, whatever you say. A different gun with me now as well. All, all different guns. I should, I might, might, yeah, I think I should change my setup really quick. Oh, I can't, ah, no! <laughs> it's all right. I'll survive. Hey. Our big Mike is taking you over the pass. Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't, if I don't do this, now well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us, right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us, campers, yeah? You go. And you find your woman. You know where to find me. Yeah. And you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Go. Keep it moving. Come on. This way. Okay, I'm following you. Come on. Slow poke. Keep going. All right. I don't know how far this is at all. But uh, I honestly think this might be the last mission or two. Hopefully we find Sarah. It'd be awesome if he actually finally finds her. Shitty if he, she turns up dead. God damn it, Mike. Why are you slowing down so much? Hurry it up. Took Jack out fishing once. Before, you know. Oh, shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> That sounds like Jack. No, he ran a pretty tight club. Where you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. That's true. I can get behind that. Good talk, Mike. Good talk. Just get to it. I think we've done a good percentage of the You know day. how many tourists we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow of floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. Trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here, nonstop. I'm glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year. Mm hmm. Keep it moving, there, Mike. It's crazy how, like, all the rippers and stuff we killed here are just still here, like the game remembers. It's pretty cool. A lot of games just. Oh shit. A lot of games just have stuff disappear, right? I'm literally popping a wheelie here, what the fuck? <laughs> Mounting this car. That was nuts. God damn it, Mike. I'm stuck on this dumpster. Whatever the hell that is. It might have been a blockade. Mike, why are you so slow? Just 
wrapped into the back of the hill. With what? I don't have a choice. Following you. Yeah, okay. God damn it. Lag. I'm just crashing into everything right here. Shit. So slow, Mike. It's because I keep having to catch up to him and stop. And catch up to him and stop. Come on, son. Freakers! Another tunnel? Wham! Come on, Mike, hurry it up. For fuck's sake, Mike. This is it. Oh. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. Is what does it matter if everyone else is dead? Mm. Let's go. Gotta go too far. I wonder what's gonna happen with Schizo. And if, if he's gonna play into the ending at all. He's still alive out there somewhere. Unless Mike just let him go and they cut that out of the story just so it didn't prolong anything. I have a feeling he might crop up though and he might cuck us somehow. Know what I mean? I think there's music playing as well, by the way, but haha, no copyright, get muted. I can hear it like whispering in my ear. It's like super quiet. But that is my choosing. There's been no music throughout this playthrough. Okay. I swear to God, if Schizo ends up being the last boss, I'm going to be pissed and that's going to be trash. I'd rather us just find Sarah and live happily ever and live happily ever after ending. That's what I want. Schizo boss fight is going to be terrible. Okay. Oh. Let's go. It's a bear. Okay. What's up, Rage Up? I gotta reload. Don't help me shoot it or anything, boys. Go. 
<laughs> okay. Here oh we fuck! Go. It's tangled up in like barbed wire and shit. Look at that. Miss me, dickhead. I've reloaded. Got him. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. It, it, well, it, it, freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I'm down. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Following you. Okay. You gotta stick with me, okay? I've been having some trouble with squatters out here the past few weeks. The patrol picks you up, could be trouble. Okay, got it. So, uh, the shoots county militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute. Yes, sir. I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? You camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Colonel's got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern... Fraternizing! <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women, same as the men. Don't matter to the Colonel. I'm not, uh, listen, I, I'm just, I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man, Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah, it's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp. Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Go on, then. Fuck it, I'll go first. Port. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with the body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, 
sorry, a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Why, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. He's got that ring. Hmm. So, how long you been drifting? Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there, you know. So, uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there was a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Well, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh... Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Very true. So what now? Hmm. He doesn't look like militia. Go! Go! Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. Nah, um, man, name's Wade, Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit! Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You Wade. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday, okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man, ooh, but she is a looker, I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man, they're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. Oh. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. You're not Maybe in these here. tents. Maybe in here. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Nope, not here. Check this one. Ah, damn it. She's not here either. That's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Nope. Ah, oh, god damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? Hmm. St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. At the gate, fam. You're getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I can ride. Do you want to join the militia? You're gonna have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. Okay. Let's go. So I take it this is like a new section of the map? Let's look at the map. Oh wow, yeah, look at all this. New areas. Gonna have a bunch of new missions dropping in, aren't we? Um, it did say we couldn't come back to any of these places, but maybe we get to come back there eventually. I don't know. Just keep going. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming along before it reaches us. What? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know your freaks up. Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? Militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. Have a plan. The colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look. There were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but... Not this far. No bounties worth that. Where the hell are we going, dude? It's a little bit concerned. Right, this is it. Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. The hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. All right, let's go in. See what the deal is. Ooh, stuff. You, uh, <clears throat> you said you stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Okay. Get out of the way. Here we go. Let's go. Wait, over here. What would you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, mm -hmm. come on, this way. I guess I'm following the trail on the map. Can't see any footprints. Maybe they're covered up because of the snow, like you said. Hey, hold on for a second. Look, over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. Someone took a shit? <sighs> this way. And you just put your hand in it. Lovely. Wait, 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 hold up. You find something? Yeah, 
Shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Let's go, go, go. Hold it's on. Over here, sir. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Eh, depends. On what? Okay, uh, you were saying. These wolves ain't ready, motherfucker. Oh. I see him. That's right, get fucked. That's the last of them. Yeah, okay. I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You got, you got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Yes, sir. Let's go. Did you look at me like that? Or you tell me where you got that fucking ring there, bud. Hey, you see the saplings. Take me some of that, thank you. Appreciate it. I hate not being able to run. I can only walk right now. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Hmm. Is that another dead animal? <clears throat> hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. what is dead wolf. It? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. I can tell all that, buddy. Now get the fuck up here. Don't make me shoot you. Hurry up. Come on. Chop, chop. Going on up here then. A Nero gravesite. Oh my god. Maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Sure. You can't murder them all? I kind of feel like murdering them, but whatever. That's a lot of motherfucking. Yeah, right there with you. You're going that way, dumbass. I gotta say, I get tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. This is gonna keep moving. Look, you're gonna join the militia? You must be focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, he kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Alright, where are we going? Okay, um. Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the cold for about a mile out. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Fuck! Oh, the light. GG. You see him all just turn and run at us. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, dickhead. You've already messed up once. Just come on. Hurry it up. Yeah, right there with you. You're telling me which way to go? You know, I'm waiting for you. Makes sense, bro. I'm running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. He's just gotta keep moving. Look, you're gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Beating the shit, killing freaks. He kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the cold from about a mile out. 
Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. We gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. Ah. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Well, if he runs a tight outfit, I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait, hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Well, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Let's fucking do it. There's at least five or six of them here then. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. True. It's time for some good old-fashioned murder. In the bushes. Fuck yeah. Gonna get this way. Saw someone. Hey, shit. You took him back. Got him. Oh well, let's kill everyone. About that time. Hoop. Yeah, keep on running. Get He's killing all of you guys. Shacks, shut up tight. Hmm. It's getting a bit laggy, isn't it? I know there's men coming, mate. Killing all their friends, what do you expect? They're just gonna lay down and take it? How are you still alive? How are you still alive? I don't know what I got here. I got a shotgun. Let's count the shotgun for a minute. What's up, buddy boy? Hit by a big shot with a sniper there. Reload this thing. Reloaded. Ow. Oh, fuck. Bandages on mid fight like a boss. I'm falling back for you. Or you. Or you. Oh, you. I said die. Me, you too. You just repair my weapon mid fight, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down, buddy. You get yours. There's right. Hello. Oh, your teammate. What's up, man? How you doing? We're chilling. Finally. Some of that. Some of this. Some of that. 
Oh, did I just pick up another gun that I didn't want? Yep. Where's that oh, shotgun yeah. gun? There it is. Stubby for the win. Hey, last dude. What's up, Maria? Here you are. I see you running around. Last of them. Yeah, I think so. Nice work. Thanks. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. Go, go, go. I'm picking up shitty weapons. Stop. Sarge people, please, and stop picking up weapons. There we go. Okay, let's go for some good old fashioned murder again. Ooh. Okay. Wait, I can't go for that. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. That is that a suppressor? Ooh. Oink. I can't go that way. How the fuck do I get to them? Just over there, can I climb this? Nope. Alright, let's go around. I'm gonna took the life out of you. Nah, you're not. Sorry, bud. It's not gonna work out too well for you. All the way around, for fuck's sake. Here we go. Don't try me, bitch. Yeah, this is it. I this is it. Here. Oh shit. Stabbing him in the nuts. Holy fuck. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Damn. You got all kinds of messed up, dude. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. What the hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been uh, uh, neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Corey out. Come on. <laughs> They've been wrecked. We brought up your bikes, Captain. I thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Let's go. So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? Try not to talk about it, you know? First year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, I got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. 
before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. Hmm. Okay. More memories with Sarah. Try and bring this video to a close real soon. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. Keep it moving, Jicky Pie. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. Hmm. Okay. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. <laughs> and second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. Okay. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah. No problem. Oh, you deserve it, don't worry. Oh, wait, is this a pop farm? <laughs> is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. Hey. Good times. 
You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal rowing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Lol. Yeah, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. No, you do not. Oh my god. God, look at that moonlight. It is it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this. What, you mean, like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean, the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh, uh no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. Oh. <laughs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? <laughs> so is that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, <laughs> the second one, the second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring on my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, oh, it's. Morier Invictus hmm. means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. You can't right, keep it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. No, yeah, it's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go.
Okay. Ride to Wizard Island. It's a fitting name, I guess. But uh, I'm going to call this video because I've been going for about an hour. So can I just save it right now? Yeah, it's going to let me. All right, much love for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know in that comment section what you thought, if you can. Uh, yeah, if you want to show a little bit of extra support to me, don't forget to drop a like and share the video where you can. Have a great day, everyone. And until next time, take it easy.